My name is Brad Vanders. I work for Valley Helicopters. I'm the general manager as well as a helicopter pilot. We service southwestern BC highways, you know, Highway 1, 3, 5. When we're flying for highways, one of the unique things is the winter, the coastal weather is quite, we get a lot of cloud and, and wind and uh, heavy snow. Uh, some of the snowiest places on, uh, in British Columbia are in the Coquihalla. That snow has to come down at some point, and so we're in it a lot. Copy that. We'll close the road as of now. We do a lot of work for the Highways Avalanche Department in the winters doing uh, snow surveys, avalanche bombing, uh, servicing weather stations, and uh, just sort of monitoring the snow conditions with them. When we're on a bombing run, we come up with a plan as, and a route as to where we're going to be going, and, and then the avalanche tech in the front seat will direct us to what paths he wants to hit and where he wants to place the charges. And shot is away. We'll leave the area to get to the middle of the valley because we only have 90 seconds till the charge goes off, and uh, when the charge goes off, we're a safe distance away so we don't get hit with a shockwave. It's a very dynamic uh, situation when we're out there, and there's a, a lot of factors that play into uh, about what we're trying to accomplish out there. So uh, we can't be second best. We have to be on our A game all the time. Our pilots that we work with are, uh, are so good at their jobs. I I've never once in my career had to ask the pilot to like back off because this is getting a little sporty. I think you just have to be comfortable with live dynamite inside a helicopter. <laughs> We work with a couple of different search and rescue groups throughout uh, southern BC and we'll do everything from uh, long line rescue which is, means we're going to transport rescuers by a helicopter on the end of a rope into to, to places where you can't land and that way say an injured hiker that's fallen over a cliff we can put them right at the right at the hiker as opposed to having them hike in from the closest landing spot. That thing is hot. <laughs> we do a lot of work with them for locating missing people and, uh, and providing ambulance, like air ambulance service as well, if they've got injured people that they want to move. I take pride in my job because uh, the consequences of, of not being really on your A game is, uh, is, there's big consequences. So it's really important to me to, to do my job really well.